Hey guys, before the video starts, I just want to give a quick shout out to Dory for suggesting this video because Dory said, Can you make the where if you click a part, a part duplicates? So, yeah, thank you very much for suggesting this video. Yeah, let's get straight into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, let's in game here, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to insert a part from a script in Roblox. So, when you click on a button, it's going to insert another part uh, on top of that. So, yeah, let's get straight into the video. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is uh, create your button. So mine's just going to be a simple block. Uh, obviously yours will be a lot more fancy than mine, but this is just an example for the video. Uh, so just customise the part to however you like. And then once you've done that, uh, insert a quick detector and a script inside of your, well, inside of your part. And then just say detector dot mouse click plug connect function then you don't need anything inside that brackets um, and now just gonna say local part equals to instance dot new part like that now we need to say part dot parent equals to game dot workspace like that and now we need to say uh, now we just need to like give the parts and properties so we need to set the size, the position and the colour and transparency and everything like that. So to do that it's very simple, you just need to say part. Um, so first I'm gonna do the position um, equals to script dot parent dot position. Then I'm gonna move it up a little bit because uh, if I if I spawn it like that and it's going to spawn right into my button and it's going to like get stuck and yeah we don't want that so I'm just going to spawn my part 5 studs above so I'm just going to say vector 3 dot dot new uh, 0 5 0 so it goes up by 5 studs and um, now I'm just going to customise it so I'm going to say part dots anchored Plus the false, or if you want it to stay still, then set it to true. Obviously, part dot transparency equals um, to whatever you want. So I'm just going to say 0.5. Um, so it's going to be half visible. Um, so whatever you can do to these parts, you'll be able to to set in script. So the most important things are now set the parent position and um oh there's one more thing we need to set the size so part dot size equals to vector three dot new uh, three two three let's just go with that it doesn't really matter whatever size you have um you can have the same size as this so four two one is the size of this button um, you know what, I might have the same size as the button. Uh, and you can just set the colour. Part of brick colour. It goes to brick colour dot new. And then put in your colour. So it might be really red. Like that. So I've got the main thing set up now. So I'm just going to go into the game and test it out. Alright, just loading it in the game, and if I click on this, it's going to insert um, more parts. Every time I click on this, it's just going to insert more parts into the workspace. Um, and you can customise this to however you like, so you can add more properties if you like. You can change the can collide by saying part, oops, part dot can collide equals to true or false if you don't want your face to collide with it but just set to how you like the choice is completely yours so if this video helps and you want to see more so make sure you like subscribe turn the bell to be notified when that video comes out see you in the next video bye